Number 15 blade is used to create an incision at the eyelid crease through the skin and orbicularis muscle. Westcott scissors are used to create a pocket anterior to the tarsus to expose the tarsal plate and then superiorly over the levator muscle. Now here we can see the central fat pad and septum overlying the levator muscle. So we're opening the septum and dissecting the fat off the underlying levator muscle and here we're excising some of the fat. The levator muscle here is being undermined and dissected off the underlying Mueller muscle. Dissection is continued superiorly at the subcutaneous plane over the frontalis muscle and medial and lateral relaxing incision can be created along the frontalis flap to aid advancement of the flap. Here I'm just grasping the edge of the frontalis flap and dissecting it off the overlying skin. Continuing the dissection, making sure to go at least two centimeters above the superior orbital rim over the frontalis muscle flap. Five oproline sutures are passed through the tarsus, partial thickness, and then through the levator muscle. here through the levator muscle and then through the frontalis muscle flap here on the medial aspect of the flap and then the same suture is passed from the tarsus to the levator muscle and then to the lateral aspect of the frontalis flap suture is being passed through the lateral aspect of the flap here The suture is tied to adjust the eyelid height and contour, making sure the upper eyelid is at the superior aspect of the limbus. The upper eyelid incision is closed using number 60 vicral sutures.